Hello my evil villains and this is the evil punisher. Uh, today's video is going to be a how to video. Uh, how to put an evil villain emblem on your steering wheel. Now I've been, uh, I've been wanting to do this project for a while now and I managed to get this emblem right here of the punisher um, at AutoZone. Uh, I've been looking at it. I passed by AutoZone and I do check up on it. It was uh, it caught my eye about two weeks ago, and for some miracle that it was still there when I got there today and bought it. Uh, it's a chrome, silver. Is it chromia silver emblem? Chrome's emblems. Um, yeah, so I saw the I saw the emblem, and uh, as you know, I'm a big fan of the Punisher. Uh, most of my tactics, I guess you would say, it's a bit more uh, a tactical. Uh, using gun racks and you know a Punisher van, camo. I mean, these are all you know these are all bit of a soldier type, uh, lone wolf assassin. You know. Um, so I kind of uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this into an evil uh, an evil Punisher emblem. Um, basically, I'm just gonna put horns on them. My villain emblem is a lot easier, I guess you you could say, because I'm I'm using the Punisher uh, symbol, and I just uh, I just happen to make them evil. Uh, as you know, uh, the Punisher is an anti-hero, and uh, putting horns on the skull makes him even more villainous, I guess you can say. So he's uh, he's no longer an anti-hero, but uh, an actual villain, and that's who I'm uh, portraying uh, as uh, the evil Punisher. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna put this on the steering wheel of my steering wheel, the evil Punisher man. Uh, as you know, is a is a super villain vehicle that I'm driving around in my city. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty funny. Uh, now that I have the the hood scoop on it. It really makes it look more uh, more appealing, more visible, I guess. Uh, a lot of people now stand and watch uh, at the van now. I don't know. They just <laughs> they just don't know what to make of it. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna put this emblem on the steering wheel, and uh, using the tools that I have here for this uh, for this little project, it's gonna be uh, these white the poster board uh, foam. It's made of foam, so it's kind of like, kind of hard. It's not flimsy or anything like that. It's not made of paper. It's it's a foam, you know, so it's it's durable. Uh, and we use these. Uh, we had used these for the for the gun racks to to make the gun racks uh, so that it wouldn't uh, scratch the windows on the on the window panel. So we're gonna use leftovers. Uh, as you know, I tell all my evil villains don't throw anything away because you will be using them uh, in the future for future projects so yeah we're gonna use this as the back part as the back part for the horns and the the back part for the for applying it to the to the steering wheel okay so we're gonna use that and we are gonna use these uh these velcro strips uh, you can see I already used a couple and we're gonna go ahead and use these uh, to attach the emblem to the steering wheel uh, this way, you can still keep your secret identity. If you're a super villain, a super villain full time, then don't mind taking it off. But if you're like me, that have to go places in public, you don't want to give away your your secret identity right away. Uh, so you do want to take the emblem off the steering wheel and put it somewhere safe, like in your glove compartment or anything like under your seat, maybe. You know, you don't want your friends to to know that you're uh, you know an actual real life supervillain. I mean, they'll just think you're you're crazy. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go ahead, or they might think it's cool. I don't know. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and put this uh, this emblem will be detachable. You'll be able to take it off and save it, put it somewhere else, and then uh, when you're ready to become a, a real life supervillain, just attach it to your steering wheel uh, using the Velcro strips. We are going to use a knife. Now, as you know, I'm I'm not very I don't like knives very much, but I do use them a lot. Um, 
you want to be careful when you're going to be cutting this out. I do have a knife just in case and I do have scissors. Uh, yeah, weird thing. <laughs> when I was doing that gun rack, um, I did cut my thumb on scissors. So I don't know how you can do that, but yeah, I did it. <laughs> uh, so you want to be careful because they're both very, very sharp. Okay. Uh, like I said, I don't want anybody uh, bleeding over this project or, you know, it, then again, I mean, it wouldn't be a an evil villain project if you didn't you know bleed every once in a while making your uh, your little project we are using this uh, marker to stencil out the emblem to the poster the, the foam board and making the horns as well uh, to paint the horns we are going to be using my signature red paint for the horns because as you know I do have horns on my uh, on my skull on my, on my evil em emblem so we are going to be using that, uh, the red paint for the horns. Uh, so let's begin. Alright my evil villains, so we managed to cut the, the emblem of the Punisher, the evil Punisher emblem. Um, and it, we did match it to the emblem itself. Uh, I just need to paint it um, the horns red and I'm going to do that right now using just my fingers <laughs> as I took my glove off. Um, after we paint it, um, I know I need to let it dry but because I'm so impatient I'm going to just uh, paint it red and then slap this emblem on it because I want to see how it looks just like that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so cutting the, the foam board uh, was pretty hard. Um, I do tip my hat to any evil villain who does, does decide to make their evil emblem by scratch. Uh, as you can see, I've already, you know, somebody had, Marvel had done half my job really, you know, half my work. Um, trying to make this emblem look uh, as real as possible to the evil Punisher emblem. Um, but yeah, this was this was not easy. Okay, guys, uh, this was really hard. I had to use a, I had to bring out this Exacto knife. I had to use an Exacto knife. Uh, you know, scissors, a knife, and these little fingers right here <laughs> to pick at all the pieces of foam that uh, I couldn't get to. So yeah, this was definitely uh, it was pretty it was pretty hard to do. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, start painting the horns on this uh, on this evil emblem now I am gonna just put a, a drop of this red paint here and here and using my finger I'm just going to uh, uh, maybe I need to put some more right when you're doing your emblem, uh, you know your colors, the the uh -huh. your evil colors. Um, I do recommend you use them a lot if you have them on your uh, costume or on your uh, you know on your symbol. Uh, stick to the same colors. Uh, I know I'm kind of confused on my colors. I know my colors are red and white. And, you know black but I do enjoy the wearing camo with my Punisher with my Punisher shirts and uh, because my evil villain uh, vehicle is camo <laughs> see there right there I don't know if you guys can see it because my evil villain um, my super villain vehicle is uh, is camo um, the colors Oops, the colors do get um my colors do get thrown up thrown around a lot. I guess you can say um you know I don't know what colors to use sometimes. Uh, I'll stick to the I'll stick to the red and white. Try to find where this thing snaps on snaps on snaps off. All right. Um. So yeah. So basically. Um, if I need to, I'll just go back to the to the red. 
the red and white. Because I use, uh, because those are my main colors, I guess you can say, red and white. And I really did mess up using that, uh, using that marker. It's done, uh, you can tell where it is. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to just, uh, smear this on something so that I can put the emblem on the, the pattern. On my pen. Uh, let's see here. Let's, let's just throw it on this right here. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna peel this off with my fingers. Now, technically, this emblem is supposed to go on a car already like maybe the outside of the car it's not really meant to go on a foam sheet of uh, poster board <laughs> I'm really trying hard not to touch the try not to touch the paint you guys ah. Ah. okay <laughs> uh, so I am gonna trim the the sides of these because uh, yeah, they managed to get on the on the emblem itself. But uh, yeah, there it is, you guys. I will be slapping this on the steering wheel. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if it looks cool. <laughs> My evil daughter is giving me the thumbs up. <laughs> so I guess she thinks it looks cool. Uh, yeah, you can't really tell, guys. I mean, it, it shines so much that you can't really see it just as good. I don't know. Let me see it. Uh, it could have gotten a little better you guys but oh well I'm gonna trim the sides of this thing right here try not to give it a little clean up yeah I really need to clean this up um there you go I'll try to trim up a little bit of the pieces here Alright guys, well, this is the, the Evil Punisher emblem, uh, I'm going to be working on bringing you more, uh, more of these uh, evil, evil projects, uh, I'm going to go ahead and color all around the, the horns to make them red, this way there's no white pieces of foam that anybody can, uh, can see. Yeah, so if you uh, if you like the video, guys, just go ahead and uh, just like it or just comment on it. Just coloring all around the the horns. All right, you guys. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and yeah. Okay, guys, there it is, the Evil Punisher emblem. On a you know on the Punisher <laughs> on a Punisher emblem, <laughs> uh, yeah. So I hope you guys liked the video. This video was pretty long. I'll try to shorten it out and see what happens. But uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys uh, like it and uh, see you on the next video. I'm gonna show you a quick um, quick video of everything that I'm doing to the to the van to the Evil Punisher van as of right now. Um, but I will be posting a, I will be putting another video of the review of putting this on the steering wheel just so you can see how it looks all together on the steering wheel and that would be a whole lot shorter video <laughs> obviously um, so yeah hope you guys like what you saw and, you know make your own emblem put it on your put it on your steering wheel and make your vehicle look as evil and sinister as possible all right so see you in the next video guys